Hey YouTubers out there, this is uh, Wartech. I just uh, have a really, hopefully, quick video um, just talking about a few different uh, things that I'm up to. Okay, first thing is I'm building another um, bopper and I just wanted to show it, uh, half of it completed. And so this is a piece of solid copper that was turned down into uh, approximately the diameter of, the, uh, of a standard uh, copper uh, pipe that you'd find over at like Home Depot or whatever. Um, it sticks out about a half inch. Um, the uh, length of the pipe is about two inches. It, it travels about an inch in, so it has about an inch worth of uh, surface area for a, um, a wood uh, handle to be uh, inserted and, and uh, secured. Um, this is my old one, and it's worked out fine. In fact, you can see how it's distorted over time a little bit, but it's held up quite well, and you can see uh, um, really no issues. The uh, the wood is fine. There's no cracks or anything like that. So it's worked out great. And <clears throat> in terms of a tool, um, yes, it's copper. But let me explain the reason why I like copper and specifically these type of tools. I'm getting old and uh, I don't like uh, hurting when I've uh, finished a piece. And so these tools are actually more ergonomical for me and uh, I don't see any reason why I can't have a uh, flint napping hobby and uh, feel good at the end of the night so um, but one of the things that I've noticed is that these flat boppers or this flat type of, of bopper really work well for thinning and so here's just an example of a piece that I've done recently and you can see how thin that is approximately I don't have any mic a micrometer on me so I can't tell you exactly what the thickness is but you can see this is the type of work that you can get out of a bopper like that and um, this is an example of some of that uh, oh, uh, oil shirt from Texas. It's got the little sparkles in it of uh, fool's gold in it. I think it's really cool, and it's very dark. Um, and there's even like a little uh, spiral shell that's sort of sticking out right here. So, But the main point is that you can get it really quite thin with that type of tool. But, you know, I don't mind using something that's more abo. And what I've noticed is that these uh, the rocks get flattened and, and faceted, which reminds me of just the flat edge of the tool here. The reason I use a hammer stone in my uh, oh, uh, early stages is because it doesn't hurt. I can use it as a punch, and I feel really good. The wrist doesn't hurt, and um, it's an effective tool for me. My main goal is to try to make something and feel good um, and not hurt myself. And, and there are times where... Um, you, you hurt yourself and it's like you're just not going to do any flint napping for a while. Uh, you just have that, you need that recovery time. So I just wanted to show an example of the type of tools that I'm, I'm working and this one works quite well. In fact, what I'd like to do is actually contact uh, flintnappingtools.com and see if they can make a version of this um, with Delrin. But I'd want, instead of a straight handle in Delrin, I'd want something that's curved like this it keeps it from sliding out of your hands, and uh, the bulb works really well. And, and in a way, it fits well into the, uh, the you know, right in the palm of your hands. This is five inches long, a little shy of five inches. And even with this tool, um, I had it shortened a little bit because it was hurting my wrist. And so the more weight you have on the end, oftentimes the, the, the better it is that the tool's a little shorter. And so these are just observations that I've made in terms of my own uh, physicality and how I can, you know, handle uh, uh, the stress and strain of actually creating something. Now, um, I want to transition away from the tools and talk about this little item here. This is a piece of glass that I got from uh, another flint napper, and it is very interesting. It's got little particles in it. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's golden with the light that travels through it, and it has more of kind of a bluish hue, and I don't know if I can really show that properly. I think it shows up a little better here. This, there's a scientific term for this. These tiny particles uh, reflect light and, and disperse light in an interesting way. It's called the Tyndall effect. And so uh, another scientist who flint naps and I came up with the term Tyndall glass. And the thing that we find, well, the thing that I find interesting thing, uh, about this is, in theory, we should be able to make a glass that mimics um, uh, the, the type of fire obsidian that's so rare. Um, we just have to find the right type of particles, and I'm assuming, and you know, I could be totally wrong about this, that the particles in here are titanium dioxide, but I could be wrong, um, and I need to research it a little bit more than just the, my speculation, but you need a particle that isn't going to dissolve in the glass, 
and, and it has to be the right size. And so there's very limited ways you can create small particles that you could disperse in the glass. As a chemist, what I would do is make a sol gel and then disperse it into a, uh, a silica sol gel and just to maintain the, the diameter of the particles and to keep the particles separated. Once you do that, you can mix that with a bulk glass and in theory make a nice fiery um, artificial fire obsidian and so it's it's of interest of it's an it's an interest of mine and if i had more time i'd probably try to to create something but right now uh, i don't have the resources to actually implement some experiments with this type of thing but if you see this type of glass and it's usually for sale at uh, places like uh, rock shops um you can say that uh, or you can tell that it is a tyndall effect glass and so these are very interesting materials um, it's very rare that I actually pressure flake, and so I should try to get a better look or a closer look at this, but um, I do pressure flake from time to time, but I really prefer percussion because it's so, I don't know, the uh, results are much quicker and, and there's a certain amount of satisfaction smacking things. So anyway, that's it. Uh, signing off.